Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you some resources and tools to teach young children living math. So if you have a child from the ages of 3 to 7 years old, preschooler, kindergartner, today I'm going to show you how to stay away from workbooks and worksheets and principles online and have your child learn in a fun, engaging way. When children are from the ages of 3 to 7, they lack abstract thinking. So if you are just providing worksheets and workbooks and sit down work at such early ages, they may fail to understand basic math concepts. Um, so it is very important to teach math, uh, providing, helping the child to experience math. So let me go ahead and show you some of the resources that I have here. Um, so here are some Unifix blocks and you can teach all types of things with this, addition, subtraction, sorting, patterning, and I have an entire video dedicated to activities that you can do with Unifix blocks, and I will link that on the description box. The next thing you want to do is get a lot of manipulatives, all types of things that you can get around your home. This one, these are erasers that I got at the dollar store. Here are some counting bears, and you can do all types of things again with this. Counting, you can do color sorting, you can do patterning, addition, subtraction. Here we have some buttons to use as counters. And uh, here we have a Montessori counting board. And uh, this is to help the children learn number order, learn their numbers, learn skip counting. It brings um, numbers 1 through 100. So the child would place the number tiles in order from 1 through 100. I don't do 1 through 100, I do, um, I do them in sections, so I give my child like for example 1 through 10 first, then 1 through 20, 1 through 30, 1 through 40, etc. until they have mastered 1 through 100. 1 through 100 takes a lot of concentration and a lot of skill, um, but it is a very good activity to learn um, numbers and um, to learn skip counting and number order. Here we have some living math books. And I think it is so important to teach math in all types of different ways. Um, these are books that introduce different math concepts. Um, so, for example, th this company is called Math Start. And they have books that are fun and engaging that teach different concepts. For example, this one's dedicated for sorting, so the child will learn sorting through fun stories. And... Um, so you would read the story to your child and they would be learning basic math concepts. This one's, it's about time, and this one's learning about time through this storybook. This one's called Seaweed Soup, and this one's Matching Sets. And again, these are just fun stories that teach basic math concepts that preschool and kindergarten students need to learn. This one is comparing sizes. So the child would, you would read to the child the book, I am small, I am smaller than small. Very colorful. I am longer than you, I am long. I am short, I am shorter than short, I am short, short, shorter, shortest and so on. That one's all about sizing. Uh, this one's about patterns. This one's about uh, counting by fives and tens. And all these are level one. And again, these are math start. Um, you can find them in your local library. I have seen them in my library. They have a whole section on math books in my library that do happen to have math start. Um, but I actually happened to buy these in Amazon. I found a good deal of someone who was selling a whole pack of, of Math Start books. And you can check on eBay. Um, you can also check Amazon.com for these books. Here's another author, Jerry Paluta. He's really good as well. And this, he, this, this is also sponsored by Scholastic. And um, they teach fun concepts. They teach math in fun ways. Um, these books are really colorful. This one teaches about weights and measures. This one's about shapes and patterns. So these are living math books. 
So it's like you're reading a story to the child as they learn math. Um, here we have serial math, and this is by Scholastic, and the, this is using different cereal that you have around your home, like Fruit Loops, Cheerios, and they learn estimating and measuring, they learn sorting and classifying, adding and subtracting, counting, and much more. Um, they learn how to graph these, it's a really fun book to learn math. They, they, chart, they chart the cereal. All types of activities with this, with the cereal. Um, these, are one of, these are two of our favorites. This is by Barbara McGrath, and this is the M&M's Counting math Book. So this is a living math book. Again, they use M&M's to do all types of activities where the child lines up the M&M's, counts, learns colors, number quantity, learns addition all types of things. Here's the Cheerios counting book and it's very similar except that it uses Cheerios. And again, it's the same concept. Um, the child is learning all types of things with the Cheerios. Um, and it really brings math alive for the child when you bring in manipulatives and things that they love to eat. Um, so it's a really fun way of learning math. Here I want to share with you um, some math uh, laminates. These are some math mats. Living Math Mats. Um, this is from a Living Math Pack. And you can use different resources, different things that you have around your home to do these math activities to teach addition, subtraction, counting, uh, number quantity. So, for example, this one is using pennies. So, it's penny addition. And the child would line up the pennies and then count what is 2 plus 1. 2 plus 1 is 3, and they would write down the answer. If they cannot write, they're very young, they still need help, they can use number cards. And these are double-sided. I laminated them, made them double-sided to make the activity last a long time. These are using beans, so the same concept. They would use beans for addition. This one is Cheerios addition. They would use Cheerios. They would line up the Cheerios and um, add. And again, I have them double-sided so that the, uh, they could do one side first and then the other side. This is domino addition. Such a fun way of learning math. Again, they would place these dominoes here and then they would add, for example, so they would count the dots. One, two, two, one, two, two. What is two plus two? Two plus two is four and they would write down the answer. Um, this is paper clip quantity, so they would use paper clips. Two. Um, place the paper clips on top so one to one correspondence and then uh, count them and write down the answer or place number cards. This is jelly bean graphing so that we use jelly beans to graph. Um, this is using Hershey Kisses and they would place the Hershey Kisses on top and then count and write down the answer or put a number card down and these mats bring the number cards which I love. Bean addition, this is subtraction, and addition, so you can use any manipulatives you have. For example, you roll a die, and you can use any manipulatives, and uh, like one plus one. What is one plus one? One plus one is two, etc. Another M. This is M and M's graphing. This is what comes next. This is patterning with M and M. So they will place the M and M's on top and find out which M and M comes next. Um, so this, I will post a link in the description box where you can get this living math pack. Here we have a, um, a living math curriculum. This is for preschool and kindergarten students. This is called um, the Matthew C. Primer. And I have made a review on this entire curriculum showing you the inside of it. It is wonderful because children learn math with these manipulatives. And it's a great way to learn math. Um, so far, my kindergarten student has been loving it. She only does about one worksheet a day, and it takes about five minutes to complete the lesson. And it is so wonderful. It even brings a DVD um, to show the child how to do the lessons. Of course, the classic abacus. Um, that is a must-have if you're teaching living math. Um, this is good for addition, subtraction, um, number quantity, all types of activities. And um, this one I got in Ikea, but you can also get the Melissa and Doug uh, Abacus on Amazon.com. 
here we have some file folder games and I have file folder games on all of the topics that I want to teach for the year. So geometry, operations and algebraic thinking, counting cardinality, cardinality, measurement and data, all types of things that I want to teach. For example, if I want to teach, I have this one out here, turtle sizing. So I want to teach sizing, small, medium, large. I have a file folder game. This is an interactive file folder game. So the child, I would take all of the pieces off and mix them all up and then have the child sort by small, medium, or large. Um, this is a fun way to do math as well with file folder games. And I will post a link in the description box where you can get file folder games as well. Uh, you can find a lot of file folder games for free online. Um, I will post a link in the description box where you can get most of these items. I hope this video has been helpful. I think um, providing a living math experience for young learners is very important. Um, and we need to stay away from worksheets and those uh, Dollar Tree uh, workbooks and focus more on living math. Um, stay away from those printables that you see online because children at young ages really need an experience with math. They need manipulatives um, to learn those concepts in a fun way. Um, so if you like the video, please uh, share it with your friends. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.